let's start at the beginning, Lance, because you watched the pre-show, which our own Denise Salcedo, which I presume they did not know she was our own Denise Salcedo because she was on the NXT pre-show. Call it a hunch. How'd she do? Uh, my dogs had to go out shortly after she started, so I didn't really see a lot of it. Somebody, my guess would be Vince Russo, said, you know, the heels always win the coin flip. We got to switch it up here. It's too predictable. We need to have the baby faces win the coin flip. Every car has round wheels. We need to change this. We need to, yeah, we need to make a car with square wheels. That'd be an effective car. And she managed to believably take a bump yeah. and not kill herself, but look like she fucking killed her shoulder. She half got me, but uh, like 30 seconds later, Io Shirai does a spot where she tries to yank her shoulder back into the socket. <laughs> yes. And I was like, oh, fuck. He wandered in. He, he looked at the TV and surveyed the situation. He stood there for about eh, 90 seconds. And he goes, this is weird. He turned around and walked out. That's the last I saw of him. <laughs> wow. So I guess really these attracting women are detracting younger... the young male demo. Yeah, you're telling me he, he must not have seen Tiffany Stratton because he sure would have been sticking around for that one. <laughs> Crowd starts chanting, thank you. Kyle, because they pres <laughs> the fans yeah. just presume he's leaving. They presume that these guys are all leaving. What does that tell you, by the way? I was fully expecting that Johnny Gargano was going to be pinned. He may be happy getting paid to do part-time NXT and full-time as a trainer or whatever, and uh, he may resign. So I think they didn't want to like humiliate or beat the guy or anything like that. This is quite literally New Blood Millionaires Club. Yes. The oh, wow. old guys that were supposed to be putting out to pasture are the baby faces and so much better than the new guys that are supposed to be our future. So this poor guy gets these bolt cutters and now he's trying to open the fucking thing and it won't open. Nope. And we're just looking at the guy and at first I was like, God, what a way to kill a baby face. Then I realized he was a heel. Are you aware, Granny, that Ed's 50? Wow, is he really? Did you hear what Paul Fontaine did for his wife? If Bridget were turning 50 yeah. and you wanted to gift her gotcha. a happy birthday on the big screen, I have seen would you say, happy birthday, lovely wife? Or would you say, happy 50th? I, I, I see what you're talking uh -oh. about. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know the most happy. shocking thing about it was? She, they're still married? I didn't know Paul was married to Ed. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't get it. What should I get my mum for Christmas? Just depends on. Oh, she can't oh, be that old. Granny, granny. It just depends. <laughs> Who's on first? <laughs> what is the worst car you ever owned? It was a 1987 Toyota Corolla hatchback. It was the simplest machine I've ever seen in my life. If I still had this car, I think I could take Paisley right now and teach her to drive it in about an hour. Clearly, you've never seen any of the videos I put on Twitter of her driving uh, those animals around the mall. Touche, touche. Granny, let's do the wrestling report. Oh, do I have to? Yes. Brock comes out, stupid haircut. Gives wow. Brock. I had the two reversed. Oh, no. Uh, you confuse Lita and Trish Stratus. And you know, I get Hardy and Owens mixed up. Jeff Hardy and Kevin Jeff Owens? Hardy and Kevin yeah, Owens? Yeah, I don't know why. I, I, I don't, don't either. either. How? Bears, Undertaker wore purple gloves and... Bro, we have to have heard this before. I feel like I've been talking about this Undertaker versus Undertaker match for like three weeks now. Am I wrong, everybody? The gray Undertaker threw a punch, but the purple Undertaker stopped it. Oh, okay, that I did do that one. That was when the two wrestled each other, right? Yes. You can sigh again after I'm gone. Oh, like get out of here, Granny. <laughs> She just kept going. When uh, Thunder Rosa left the booth, Ricky Starks goes, why does this always happen? <laughs> and when he said that, I mean, when your announcer is saying that the same fucking thing happens on every single show, that should be an indication that you're going to the well one too many times with some of this stuff. He's talking about his dead parents. Because the crowd is doing this, oh, and there's something about his fucking delivery that I'm like, this is not supposed to be like some fucking comedy segment. You could hear one of them when Brutus took a pause. Get over it, bro! God. Dude, it gets worse than that. You actually hear a human being find it in his heart. 
on recorded for poster- posterity here to shout out, not making this up, kill yourself. God. Yes. I don't even know how Buddha's kept his composure here. I'd well, have been slaughtering people. For one night, CM Punk was the heel. Yes. And MJF was the babyface. He mocks Long Island. He mocks the Islanders. And no, Brian, that is not Haku and Tama. He reveals his four pillars shirt. I guess this is a shirt you can actually get at a, on an AEW site, but he has replaced MJF as one of the pillars with Britt Baker. Fans begin to chant, fuck your pizza. Because New York people do not like Chicago pizza. I bet this is more fun for CM Punk than anything oh, else he's done his entire it is. run. Are you kidding me? He had the time of his life out there. And it was a good preview because at some point, ultimately, it won't be long. I don't think CM Punk <laughs> is going to be a asshole heel again. Yes. So Nick Jackson is a great pro wrestler. It may be like the fourth best thing he does behind strutting, fashion. I'm assuming he's responsible for a lot of these rompers and the the nose to ear chain. And I must now also add clapping. I enjoy watching him clap more than watching him wrestle. And into the arena drives Sue. Trent's mom, Sue. And Tony Schiavone, in a perfect parody of himself, screams, It's Sue! Me! <laughs> you ever notice how fun Dynamite is? Watching the show is you fun. You just noticed how fun this show was? Of course I didn't just Did notice Did you it. just get paid? If it's if it's makeup, it's makeup applied exactly where he was, in fact, on fire. Yeah, God help me. I thought it was stupid at the time. This is a week later, and I was like, "This is that was really stupid." But he legit missed the mist. He got everybody. Well, most she sold it the best. She sold it best. Yeah, she and, sure did. And uh, and she looked as beautiful as ever, whereas Pillman's face was covered in black goo. Goo. You want to know why this show's fun, everybody? Tell me. I'm gonna drop some knowledge here. So buckle up. You always know I'm gonna drop some knowledge when I adjust myself in the chair like that. You do that dramatically, yes. Yes. You want to know why the show's so goddamn fun? Because it is a pro wrestling show. That's it. You know who wrestles like a 1993 Raw guy? Von Wagner. Well, yeah, that's exactly what they want. They should be making main roster money to teach these guys how to work. And also because they're in there getting thrown around by these big green guys that could kill them. So at the pay-per-view... Braun Breaker was on the heel team, and Roddy Piper was a babyface beating up Joe Gacy, and now they have... Roddy his... Piper? Who the fuck's Roddy, Roddy Piper? Piper? Roddy Roddy. I mean, I know who he is. I wrote Roddy, Roddy Strong, who is yeah. not Roddy Piper in any way, well. except the first name. So you're telling me that if I do a tag match, I can steal the tag rope, and that team is never allowed to tag him? They can never tag So I can again. just two-on-one this fucker for the they whole match never... and beat him? So it sounds like everybody should be stealing the goddamn tag rope before the match. This was so stupid. BJ or JB is on the apron yelling at the Grizzly Young Veterans while JB or BJ is in the ring and he bonks a Creed into JB or BJ and then BJ or JB gets the Bro, pin. can you use his partner so people can figure this out? This is, again, old, old men trying to write a show with what they think young people will think is cool. Oh, these two young women go to lots of concerts. Oh, that will attract the demo. MSK finally meets their shaman. It's Riddle. Yeah. And he opens the bag, and and uh, and Riddle's very impressed. And he's very, very happy. But it's like the briefcase of Pulp Fiction. We don't actually see what's in the bag. We can probably guess. It's less of a mystery than Pulp Fiction. I really like that thing with MSK and Riddle, by the way. Okay. I thought that was really good stuff. Daddy paid for my gymnastic lessons. <laughs> yeah. I was going to win a gold medal at the Olympics. But you know what's better than a gold medal? The NXT Women's Championship. No, it's not. My gut tells me he's actually staying. I know everyone thinks he's leaving. The ending of the show was an absolute grade A, perfect encapsulation of World Wrestling Entertainment in 2021. Because what they did was put a guy out there, have him speak from the heart. Uh, It was not prescripted by anybody else. He wrote all these words himself. He used the word wrestling and wrestler a few times. And everyone loved it and was happy and then they had him killed to set up a feud that, for all we know, is not going to happen. Yeah. What a kick in the sack.